All right, now to election matters. Election stakeholders in Nigeria have called for the passage of the nation's election offenses bill. The bill, which was introduced during the 9th National Assembly, is expected to birth an election offenses commission that will help prosecute persons arrested for perpetrating violence during polls. Our correspondent, Idong Joseph, compiled this report. Over the years, Nigeria's elections have witnessed cases of violence, intimidation and ballot box snatching, which usually leads to voter apathy as citizens are too afraid to go out and cast their votes. While many have condemned this, saying it affects the credibility and ultimate outcome of the election results in the country, stakeholders at this high-level security symposium in the nation's capital, Abuja, have called on lawmakers to reconsider and pass the election offenses bill currently in the National Assembly. It was first of all passed by the Senate, but not concurred to you by the House of Representatives. It meant that that, that that bill did not succeed. So, and by our rules, if a House or the a legis a legislation could not be done within the legislative uh, tenure of a House, then it means that it will have to uh, atrophy. So, that electoral bill must be resuscitated. We have begun to see electoral offenders year in, year out, and um, arrested and nothing is being done really. Uh, many of them go cost free, not because they were not even arrested, but because the cases are probably, properly, I mean, probably uh, poorly investigated or poorly prosecuted. And what it means is that there is a need for a body that can actually saddle with this responsibility. Though the existing Electoral Act places the responsibility of prosecuting election offenders on the nation's electoral body, stakeholders are insisting that the creation of a commission to tackle this menace will be more effective. Representatives of the government present pledge their support and are sure that they will walk around the clock to ensure that the bill sees the light of the day. The fact that elections we are not perfect, is why we are all gathered here today, to fashion out a roadmap to further improve the electoral process and strengthen the electoral institutions, especially the National Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. I want to use this opportunity to affirm the commitment of the House of Reps and the National Assembly in general to fostering laws that would strengthen our democratic process and institutions. The Federal Ministry of Justice, as we all know, is the legal advisor for the Federation, is the chief legal advisor even for the President. And whatever comes, even from any bill, any act from any, uh, any act of parliament, we will normally have an input. And all of us together, we are uh, members or we are partners in progress, be it from the executive side, be it from the judiciary, or be it from the legislature. With over three years left for the next national elections, stakeholders are calling on lawmakers to take advantage of the time available and ensure that the bill is passed.